Police are increasing patrols in the area where the clown was sighted. <laughs> said he saw clowns whispering in the woods nearby. <laughs> so unless you've been living under a rock for the past few months, you probably know about the killer clown sightings. In this video we're going to take a closer look at these sightings, the more recent ones, and we're also going to trace it back to the origins to see if we can debunk these things. So lately, especially in October, since it's the month of Halloween, there have been a lot more clown sightings, but this outbreak, if you want to call it that, started earlier in the year, a few months ago approximately, with just a few scattered sightings, and then there started to be a large number of sightings in Florida. A teen in Largo says she was chased by one as she walked to her bus stop, a photo there. And one school in particular had to put out warnings saying beware of clowns and things like that, and obviously that's just asking for trouble. Lots of people decided to copy this idea and now there are tons of clown sightings everywhere. A young boy who was 12 he got an adult sentence of quite a few years because he threatened someone with this clown idea. He said clowns are going to come and kill you or something to someone and I think that's a bit of an over exaggeration but it shows what people are willing to do to copy this and ride the success of it. So first off we're going to look at some of the more recent sightings because with iPhones around there's a lot of video evidence now. Okay, what Wait, the fuck? No, this is not fucking happening. What, what the fuck? 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 As you can see, the guy is screaming and conveniently they're, they're filming already. It, it's, it all seems fake, it seems staged. They know they're going to get a lot of views from it. And in my opinion, the guy in the clown suit is probably a friend of theirs. Now the ones where it's a bit more unclear whether it's real or fake are when they start recording and something's clearly already going on. So it makes more sense there. But a video like this... The woman starts recording because, I guess, her partner or something goes to attack the clown. So with something like this, it's a bit more believable. They're at least not in on it. But in my opinion, a lot of the clowns or the vast majority of these clowns are just people that have seen the hype it's getting and are maybe a bit insecure so they use this to hide their identity. It's something called de-individuation. If you disguise yourself using the clown mask and entire costume you can't really be identified so there's less repercussions. But where did this all start? The original sightings in Florida back when, you know, this, this wasn't a big deal. Why did that happen? So there must have been an original clown. That's what I'm most interested in, that original clown. The first sighting started cropping up in Florida around schools and it seems like these people were genuinely pedophiles. They were trying to get the kids, they weren't just trying to scare them, they wanted to lure these kids out. Two children reportedly saw a clown trying to lure kids into the woods with treats. Now obviously now that plan will pretty much backfire because everyone <laughs> realizes there's killer clowns everywhere. Hey faggot, what are you doing? Don't shut the fuck up. And no kid's gonna walk up to a clown. But I think the initial idea behind this was to lure the children away from the school and just go away with them. There was an instance here where a woman had to pull her kid back, a clown tried to take the kid. And it's pretty spooky stuff, you know, reminiscent of Stephen King's It. Georgie! Aren't you gonna say hello? Perhaps that was inspiration for this child snatching clown idea. 
but it's important to look at the origins of the scary clown in general. It wasn't popularized by Stephen King's ear. Clowns have been scary for a long time, back to the medieval times when they would have been called jesters. The idea of someone being permanently smiling like that, which is what the face paint allows them to be, is associated with mental instability. When we smile it shows that we're happy about something. We're happier than our normal state. If someone is constantly smiling, there's a good chance that they're unstable, and that's scary. And then you have the face paint, white with red, very unnatural colours, and originally the idea and inspiration of this face paint came from the idea of demons. So the idea is that demons look like this. By being a clown, you're sort of making fun of that, but in the same way, there's a lot of primal fear associated with it. Now, there have been clown sightings for pretty much as long as there've been videos. I mean, there's a lot of old newspaper articles out there saying, oh, a clown popped up in the woods. But I believe in a lot of the cases, it probably was either people on Halloween, you know, practical jokers, or pedophiles. I think that's about as creepy as it gets. But a lot of people are suggesting that there might be a supernatural element to this. So the original clown might have been maybe a ghost or maybe a demon, as I said before. The idea of a clown was inspired originally by demons and their descriptions. So perhaps there is a little more to this, but ultimately it's quite a mysterious topic that has pretty much become something light-hearted in pop culture. A lot of people going out on Halloween dressed as clowns and a lot of people going out hunting clowns. There was actually someone who dressed up as Batman in order to hunt the clowns. I think that's pretty funny. Maybe that's a good Halloween idea, go clown hunting with your friends, see if you can see any. Maybe that'd be an interesting video. If I do spot a clown, I will make sure to try and catch it on video and upload it to this channel. Thanks for watching guys. If you've seen any clowns and you've got any videos, send them to me on Twitter at all underscore things capital C. Or if you have any other video suggestions of course, like this video if you did, share it with a friend and of course if you haven't already, subscribe for more creepy content.